my uh, weekend's results of the productivity that I've been doing this weekend. I seem to, and I'm not complaining honestly, you know that I like time consuming and you know I didn't have to add the buttonhole edge twice all around each one but to me they wouldn't have been finished without that. Um, but it's taken me all weekend to put these together and I'm reluctant to part with them in a way but how many pin cushions does a girl need? And this pouch was always going to be to go in the shop. It was never going to be for me. So that's already in my head. So that's, you know, not easy to part with. But that's what it's for. So that's what it's for. Simple as that. So I just wanted to show you because I think you can get a better sense when you're, they're on video. Now, they're all different sizes for some reason. Don't ask me why. See, that's how good I am at mathematical stuff, measuring and and calculating sizes and stuff and they're quite small they're a bit smaller than the one I made for myself but I don't think that matters because I think because they're small they're even more precious um, so I just really really love them and if I had anywhere to just have a room for beautiful titivated things then they'd probably go in there and I wouldn't be getting rid of them um, but anyway so here we go this is the first one this is kind of like an oblong one it reminds me of a pillow for a bed and this one's obviously you can see the embellishment there's bullion knots there and then down there and then there's french knots like flowers but what i like about these is i made them with kind of the techniques that i'm using in the lace class that's going on at the minute so there's a lot of layering going on so there's a lot of like little pockety things going on underneath you can get your finger under that it's like a little pocket there's another one there like a little pocket in there like layers of cloth um, and they've all got tabs on. They've got a tab that says pin pillow and they've got a tab with my name. That's me hanging on to them. Don't want to let go of them so they'll always have a bit of me in there. Well, they'll always have a bit of me in there anyway. And that tab from that one it wasn't long enough to double over. So I've just put it in the seam and then stitched it over to the back. Um, so that's that one and they've all been like three sides up the machine and then hand closed and then hand embroidery buttonhole around the seams of the outside twice to give it a little bit of a lacy edge okay so that's that one and then this one this one doesn't seem as if it's got much going on when you first look at it but it's obviously it's got buttonhole lace here french knots here again the layering of the lace um, embroidery over here french knots and it's got this like little thing here that's like a little pockety thing going on there I hope you can see that and again it's got the tabs exactly the same and over here there's like a little pocket if you put your finger under there so that's that one this one this one I don't know if it's my favorite I don't know whether this one's my favorite they're all my favorites but this one what I particularly like about this one is this like little tufty thing going on here can you see that um, and then this little like lip here it's like a little pocket that extends over the side and that's got buttonhole lace down there as well and then again they've all got this buttonhole lace around the outside and over here there's like a little pocket you get your finger in there and you can get your finger in there so that's that one and this one looks quite plain looks like there's not a lot going on but again if you look closely you can get your finger under there another little pocket more layering and then here a little tiny edge there that kind of stands free and that's got buttonhole lace on as well and then I've got obviously the French knots along there in a strip and again the buttonhole lace on the outside so that's all four of them so you can see from there you know that they have been quite time consuming and um, but that's what makes them special I think and I don't want you to think that I'm bigging myself up because I'm not because anybody could do that it's just a case of having the time and being prepared to take the time that's all it is and a lot of people don't have that time i appreciate that um so please don't think i'm bragging or bigging myself up but i think if you invest time in something like this that's all it takes it's just time and knowing you've got that time and you know knowing you can take that time and spend your evenings in front of the tv embroidering this and then doing all this last night uh, yesterday afternoon I finished this and last night from about 8pm I was watching a film and then because I was on my own I'm on my own a lot as you know because um, my husband works long hours and my son's never here he's always with his girlfriend so I was watching a film and I'd started these about I've said 8 o'clock the film started at 8 but I'd say I started these at 7 until about quarter past 11 last night just finishing them like stuffing them and you know doing the edges so but I can do that I'm you know I'm fortunate that I can do that I appreciate that and I know that and then this is the pouch it's smaller than my own pouch 
but I just think it's really lovely and it's lined with this that stuff I bought in London that striped stitched striped cotton and it was obviously hand closed again stitched up three sides of the machine hand closed on the final side and then folded this is the back folded to create this kind of pouch thing off center deliberately because I'm not one for centering and predictable so it's off center deliberately and buttonhole lace along that opening there but also along the seams and along that side seam and that side seam okay so that's the pouch and I mean I, if I had this I would probably keep vintage cloth in it fold up my little bits of cloth and keep those in there and it's not a very big opening but I've got big hands I think for a woman I think I've got hands like a man um, and that's kind of causes me trauma so I'm not going to go any further into that but I can get my hand in all four corners in here without spoiling this piece you know so I'm sure you delicate feminine people who aren't like big hulking men like I am would be able to manage with that fine and then obviously there's all the surface embroidery that you've seen that I've been doing and showing you on my blog I've got Broadway on glaze here buttonhole edge with some threads coming down there I've got wrap threads here I've got machine made lace here and here I've got a little bit of Broadway on glaze there that I've titivated around the edge I've got that lollipop thing going on there with the big loops of bullion knots and on the back this is that seam I did with all the Pico seam that I did by hand, all that. Machine made lace again, applique, applique, more applique, all with buttonhole lace, more machine made lace here and here and here, um, blobs of French knots over there and then I've got cross stitch going all the way down there. So that's that one. I just thought it's you get a much better view of something on video than you just do with photographs. So I just wanted to make that little video and it's kind of like me saying goodbye to them as well. Um, you know, getting one last chance to remind myself what they're about and what I put into them, etc. So I hope that, you know, gives you a clearer perspective of what they're like.